Hello YouTube fans and today I'm going to talk about a movie which in the UK was called The Link done by Medusa back in the early 80s and in America it was called Blood Links. The same guy you may remember he played in Troll, played in True Ring Serpent and also played in The Stuff plays two roles in this. He plays a doctor that saves lives and he plays a psychopath that takes lives. He does say he's sort of like a serial killer who gets off killing people. The doctor, who's a dud one, discovers that his twin brother, who has faked his death, is out and he's killing people. And if that's not bad enough, he's trying to set him up. Bud Link, or The Link, whichever version in the UK or America, it's like a disturbing film. It didn't came out that era of the nasty era, as it did come out in 82, when video was doing its day day. He beats a man, who knew the dud side, and sets him up. Then if that ain't bad enough, the dud side falls in love with the daughter. I always find it was very convenient that the daughter, who, far from the bad one, battered to death, seems to fall for the one who looks like him. You think that someone's just killed your dad, all right, and what him, who's a queen buffer. But the last thing you want to do is jump into bed with, but they jump in bed. The bad one dopes up his buffer, knocks him out. The thing is, for the bad one and good one, is they have a star on different sides. The doe bears feeping with him, distuffers that the star is on the other side, meaning he's the bad one. I felt the scene then was a bit too much and too disturbing as he rapes her, and then if that ain't nasty enough, pulls out a big sharp knife and stabs her to death. You do get the bloody effect of it going inside with sound effects, really do some. And you get a lot of blood skirting out, you know, your typical blood door scene. Really horrible, disturbing scene. Really is disturbing. Well, it's bad enough seeing him just beat a man to death, but then he rapes and kills the daughter. Bit nasty. But it's not one for too much blood in door, and it's not too as bad. The music is tight tamed and tight nerfing in parts, and it starts off in the opening with him killing a woman. He sets up the brother, which oddly enough the brother can see in his eyes, and he can see vice versa. The doe, who fell for the dud one, offers to meet the bad one. Then if that ain't nasty enough, they have sets. And she literally rides him like a stallion. He's about to kill her. She turns the table, gets a knife, stabs him. I find it was that easy how he could get killed just like that. This was a guy who could beat a man to death, stab him in left, right and centre, but that he gets so easy to manipulated by thinking with his dick that she stabs him. Easy peasy. It's not a bad film, but it's one that's very hard to watch as it is very nerving and disturbing in parts, but not too bloody as most films in that era. It's not a bad film, and it's that good performance. Seeing the, the die normally plays a good role, to see him play two different roles is that interesting. Blood Link or Link in the UK. It's still the same film, just different brand of name. It's that an interesting film. If you can ever find problems, you could probably pick it up on YouTube. That's how I found it. If you can't find it on YouTube, check it out. It should be somewhere around on the land of DVD. But I remember it on the days of video. And it's like a disturbing film. It's an hard one to watch, but an interesting one. So because it's too hard to watch, but still a good performance, I'm going to give it a two-star rating. It's not bad, but it's not rubbish. I say miggle, but if you didn't do like the blood door and what the error was of the videos when Medusa did films back in the early 80s and what films were like in that era before the movies went PC pusser, the link is not a bad one and I'd check it out. It's an interesting part of the coffers what was around in the UK and America. Check them out. UK. UK version of The Link. 
the American version of the link, which was named Bloodlink. And that was the two inedited versions that was around back in 1982. Again, very hard film to watch and very unsettling. It was made that way, but for a filler, it's not bad. As a few tips and turns, so I don't want to ruin it. Again, you can find it on YouTube if you want to see it for free. But if not, it's an alright film. Again, two star rating. It's not date, but it's not bad. Check it out.